Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So today I got Redmi Note 13 4G and uh, the device that I have without NFC hardware. There are two variants of the Redmi Note 13 4G, one with the NFC and one without NFC. The mobile that I got is without NFC. I have updated my mobile phone from MIUI 14 to the Hyper OS. Now let me tell you that this is the stock release 1.0.2.0 0 is the current version of the hyper os for the redmi note 13 4g and the mobile phone will update it from android 13 to android 14 after getting the update of the hyper os on the redmi note 13 4g so let me tell you one more thing that this uh, update is basically the earliest update now those who registered their self to get the earliest update they will definitely be getting via ota this hyper os update now those who did not not registered their self they can flash the rom if they want like in case if you have a redmi note 13 4g without nfc hardware you can still watch this video flash the update of the hyper os and update your mobile phone from me y14 to hyper os but in case if you want right how to update the mobile phone in case if you are having me y14 then you need to uh, unlock the bootloader first without unlock boot no, without unlocking bootloader you cannot update or you cannot flash anything and in case if you are using xiaomi account sync your account once and then remove it in the same way so must sync your google account once and then remove it and uh, check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum uh, go to the fingerprint uh, face data etc etc turn off the screen lock and save all the internal storage data this uh, procedure of the updating will format everything now you can simply power off the mobile phone we'll move towards uh, the computer screen so here are the files that i have uh, downloaded already on my computer screen and uh, links are provided in my video description first of all this is the without nfc hyper os updated rom for the redmi note 13 4g now the orange fox recovery is also available for the redmi note 13 this orange fox recovery will work on the both variant with nfc and without nfc and the platform tools extract the orange fox recovery first then extract the platform tools and then open the extracted folder of the recovery copy the recovery.img file from here go back and uh, open the extracted folder of the platform tools and paste a recovery file over here then uh, right click on the cmdexe left click on run as administrator click yes on next window command window will open now coming back towards the mobile phone mobile phone must uh, having an unlock bootloader is it must be power off we need to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode press and hold the volume down key and power key for few seconds the mobile phone will show the fast boot screen immediately release both keys connect the mobile cable but check the, the other side of the cable must be connected with computer connect the cable with the mobile phone the phone is booted into fast boot mode connect it already with the computer now come to the computer screen type the command to flash the recovery fast boot space flash space recovery space recovery dot img press enter key recovery got flash now we have to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery on the fast boot screen press and uh, hold, press and hold the volume up key and power key to restart and to reboot the mobile phone when mobile phone gets restart release the power key only but do not release the volume up key just uh, hold it press and wait to let the custom recovery screen appears and uh, after pressing it for a little long time you can release the volume up key now the mobile phone will boot into custom recovery i will close the command window uh, on the computer screen will go back to my downloaded folder uh, custom recovery got booted properly and the storage is not encrypted it is decrypt so i can copy paste in case for example if uh, you see that the storage is encrypted the folders are not with the proper names then what we have to do we will go to the third menu then we'll go to format data 
type y e s and tap here turn go back to main screen tap the last menu then tap the reboot and tap recovery now when the mobile phone got rebooted it took some recovery the internal storage will appear on the computer screen but you can see that the storage is not with the proper form so we cannot copy paste right now now tap the upper arrow then tap to the data folder to open the data folder and tap the three dots here then tap create folder type the folder name m e d i a media tap here media folder got created go to the last menu then tap mount and uh, uh, disable the mtp once then re-enable it and the internal storage will got appears once again with a proper form you can see on the computer screen now we'll go back to my main screen to first menu then we'll go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the uh, the hyper os rom file from the downloaded folder we'll go to my internal storage of the mobile phone we'll paste the hyper os updated file on the internal storage of the mobile phone now one more thing the, the file is getting copied now i want you to concentrate here uh, on the mobile phone screen go to the last menu then tap the settings then tap the display and ch must check the time out to maximum in case if you see that the time out is 60 seconds make it to the high level i mean to say make it to the maximum then go back to main screen because the current recovery is still beta and if the recovery screen gets locked then the touch will not work so you will have to concentrate and do not let the mobile phone to get the screen lock otherwise the the recovery will not work and we have to reboot the recovery the flashing will get disturbed so we got the file copied on the internal storage computer works done and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone and uh, then tap the third menu once again and select the Delvic art cache then cache then metadata data and swipe then go back tap first menu and tap media then select the hyper os file that i just copied by tapping on it and uh, also put a check sign on the reflash orange fox after flashing a rom in case if you want the custom recovery to be flash otherwise if you do not want then untick this one reflash orange box after flashing a rom so what will happen the stock recovery will get overwrite on the orange box recovery those who want to reflash the orange box recovery must put a check sign here right and swipe to start flashing now the uh, the flashing of the hyper os with the custom recovery will take a little long time all you have to do is to wait and do not let the custom recovery screen to be lock just like uh, after a few seconds just uh, tap the screen to see the things must going on and you are watching it So the ROM got flash finally. Now go back to main screen, then tap the third menu and tap format data, then type Y E S and tap here. Must do this step after flashing. We did this step before and now we have to do after flashing. When it is done, then you can simply reboot system. The Redmi Note 13 4G will be waiting on this Mi logo for a while then soon the mobile phone will start booting and the first boot will take a little long time finally the first boot completed i will complete the setup screen well i got the hyper os once again on my redmi note 13 4g and hopefully after uh, applying the, the method that i just showed in this video hopefully your mobile phone will also be updated from the miui 14 to hyper os and uh, 
update uh, android version must be 14. this is how we can update the redmi note 13 4g without nfc hardware to hyper os android 14. do not forget to like the video and if you want to watch these type of videos do not forget to subscribe my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much like the video keep sharing it and we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye